Hey Paris, blessed Saturday morning to you and your family, wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and most of all, I would like it to be good night when this little sit down video of mine reaches out to you. Hope you're having a good day. Try to make it the best you can, okay? Don't let anybody come today to steal away all your joy. You know, try to be happy. Try to join me on this journey of claiming your happiness. So, as you have seen in my last video, I shared with you, I'm drinking a flavored water, that I had gotten a treadmill. Me I wet my palate. Me I go talk like, oh. So I'm getting my palate wet. I haven't had breakfast. I go up on the treadmill. I got 10 minutes in. I'm still at 10 minutes. So I'm just doing it at my pace. I'll get, get better. I'll be at 30. I'll be at more than 30. But it takes time, discipline, and I'll be doing it my way. So I'm gonna come off of the treadmill, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, get my teeth clean and I got a hog wash when I get the shower this morning. The water was down in the bottom pipe, so I had to squat. Which is gonna bring me to what I want to share with you why I got the treadmill. I wanted a treadmill from some years ago, you know, some years when Jerry was in college. I wanted to get me, but I did just want one treadmill. You know, I wanted to do some extra walking because I'm a brisk walker, you know. I'm a fast walker. I walk, I walk fast. But the day when I went to get the treadmill, same as me ago, him called me, tell me, same day at school and him computer, whatever. But what happened to the computer as a mother, I was showing, I was pinpointing it out to him. All along, so that would have happened. Anyway, this video is not about it. So I had to just leave with a computer for him, left the treadmill. So I've pushed, pushed, and I tell myself, say, you know what? The new year now that me, I'm going to get a treadmill in. But what really kind of drives me extra was what happened to me. I think it was in about late, somewhere between late September and October. I think even when my birthday and the girls wanted me to ask, I'm not going out because I had this terrible pain in my right hip. I don't know where it came from. I've never had a pain in my hip like that before. So the pain was there. I made a say a regular little gas pain. So, you know, this pain started coming onto me, onto me, onto me. It started, you know, during that time there when I didn't have any water, I had to. So in squat, it reaches the point where I could not squat to. When a little water come in the bottom pipe, I found that that pain in my hip had me deteriorate my, 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 my activity. I deteriorate my activity. Because I could, I could not squat now to use the bottom pipe because of that pain in my hip. Wow. You know, Jamaicans, our Caribbean people were warm and rub, rub. Nothing. Nothing. I am not the sort of person for everything my run go doctor. I don't know about you, Pari. You know? I am not the person for everything me does for a doctor, doctor. Mm -mm. I'm not that person. That's just who I am. Maybe you are, maybe you are not. That is why I say, my way. Do you? People are entitled to do what they want. And do how you want to do it. Also, when you're doing that, you must be able to practice self-discipline. So, if you don't get successful results, you will know to go back to the drawing board. You know, so you won't have to blame anybody. You know, you did not get successful by the way how you chose to do it. But learn to practice self-discipline first. Then you can always, you know, feel comfortable to go back to the drawing board to see if you can get it. 
then if you're going on for a time and you're not getting it you might need to get outside help or something that's just me as some me think it that's how i that's just for me and i am just sharing i am not saying you are to be you now so come back we get back to the pain of the hip here so now getting up on the bed was like okay but getting down no sorry getting on the getting off the bed was okay but getting up on the bed was a problem yes getting off was fine even though the pain was there but getting up was a problem now it's continuous to deteriorate with well, both of them on and off dad had to be putting me up helping me up on the bed he had to be helping me off the bed it started to get worse if i sit for a five or ten minutes dad had to help me to get up i'm gonna say let me tell you something you see pain in a family i don't know I, I i i stretched my legs dad massage nothing would do it would would, would do it yeah matter what if <laughs> nothing would do it that was my experience no sorry that wasn't you or somebody else's experience that was the experience that was how i felt the pain in my hip you might have a pain in your hip but you are feeling your pain different if i am correct or if it's so you can comment you know so that was what was happening with me me tell myself something i succumb to the pain in my hip where i i i, I where i when i alone me for go up on my bed when i walk out and buy <laughs> for go sleep because me love my bed you know Barry, when when it's bedtime for me, it's just bedtime, right? Me now so come to no pain in no hip. Just get up, come overnight. So I'm gonna fight this pain. So Dad said, Debbie, you know, say ah, because you stop the whole of catering. Cause let me tell you, when you're a shop owner, like me know me talk about shop owner like in a Jamaica where for the day you make miles and miles them come. Miss Debbie, put on a flower. Half pound of mackerel, two ounces of salt fish, two and that, two and from. And for the day, you would make miles and miles. So do us that you work, you move around. You know? And with catering too, you have got to be on your feet. You have got to be moving. Sometimes I fry fish outside, I jerk in and out. So I was movable. Just moving up and down and I was sweating out. That wasn't happening because I saw... So active like that anymore yeah you know i'm saying so dad said debbie it's time to get the treadmill and we decided i'm gonna go get it i never worked treadmill before i never go on treadmill before i wait for two minutes upstairs to get one when i go in at the store and see but i take time go on it but you know they're not plugging in at the store and that's just it i watched a few videos when they came to set it up the guy said i he gave me a little bottle with some liquid i said i'm to grease the belt every two weeks mm -hmm. when that done me i forgot to get some online because he said it's expensive he said it is tremendously expensive in jamaica i don't even know the name of it but i'll get there because i got one with it so i said to myself i am gonna try to watch a few videos also, I read the brochure that I got with it. And I started from there. And as I said before, practicing self-discipline means a lot to me. And I think in everything we should practice self-discipline. I am not telling everybody to do it. I'm not telling people. But I'm just sharing that practicing self-discipline. I said a treadmill is a gym equipment. I cannot sign up with a gym. I financially me not go Africa. You have to pay or oh, I don't know how often you pay. Me no me no discipline like that to get out to the gym every morning. Number one, I haven't got a drive. So it not go work for me. Probably if I had a drive, it would work. Then again, I'm thinking. I am not sure how it works at the gym, how people talk to people like my age, and I'm just thinking a lot of things. So I'm saying, let me get myself a treadmill and let me try to do things my way. So I had to put that disclaimer on that little video that I shared because I got a lot of people 
they love to talk. Oh my God. They love to talk. They love to give the most. Yes. Don't do that. Not that way. You. I have this stress in my hip with this pain. I don't need no more stress. <laughs> so I don't want a lot of people coming on to me to tell me what to do, when to do. I know what I want. I am doing me. That is why that is the main part of me getting a treadmill. I know a lot of people, ladies, maybe men too, but I think the ladies then suffer. I don't know if it's because of childbearing. We suffer a lot of abdominal pains, joint pains. Where a lot of us gone through some surgery and probably for the just go up on the treadmill. We would not fear that we would end up carry pain there over time. It just get chronic pain. We and we have to go do surgery. Hmm? So I want to share with my ladies of my age, probably a little younger too, and probably a little older. You got that pain there. It a hook you up. It a bend you up. You need never take your money go buy a pain. Some of them is just, oh, we work hard. Over the years, two, three jobs, standing here, leaving one job here now. Straight on to the other, standing that. Just for me ends meet with the family. And it comes back also to, do you? Somebody might say, so why did I have to do three job? Oh, it's okay for you to ask. Why me did I have to do three job? Eh? It's okay for you to ask me why I had to do three jobs, right? Because you did not have to do three jobs, but I had to. So I had to do me, my, my living, my life journey. I had to do the three jobs to make ends meet. I had my kids. I had my bills to pay. So I did have to do three jobs. So it's easy for you to stand on the outside on the outskirts and say, I do not treat you up. I shouldn't do treat you up. That's what I'm saying to you. You know? So why are you going to treat me? Not the two I want me to do. Good for you. I do do none. Good for you. But I've got to do three. Because doing three, that is what's going to cut a little thing for me. Hmm? Some of us, we work so hard in our older, younger days. I know we get older and know we are work. Because sometimes with the things said why when we get older, it would have slow down. Eh hey, hey. I know we are work. And all those older days working, our long time days working. Now we are even on retirement. We can't get no look of happiness, no look of peace of mind. Pure pain. Pure pain. You know, I was getting to that stage, Paris. It was just pain. And, and I knew it would get worse. You know? So I am disciplining myself. May I take my time? I'm taking my time. When I got it first time, few times I went on it, I could go about like two, three minutes. And I tell myself, look, if I can only do one minute, that's what I'll be doing. As I go, I will go. And if you, if you have got one, and if you have watched my video and if you decide like I'm going to take it out or you have never had one and you're going to get yourself one. Just if you can't go on it and do one minute, do one. Nobody watch your friend while go half an hour, 45 minutes squatting on the treadmill while it runs. Do you and work yourself to the point where you want to go. You know what you want from half of your treadmill. Hmm? You know what you want. And suppose it, it is that you really want to get Go on and go on until you get other equipments to the bill of a, a, a gym in your house. You do you. You never can tell. One treadmill can lead you to have your own gym at home. What do you think about that? But you do you. Do you. When you do you, you can't go wrong. Paris. Do you. A little at a time. Look at me here. You know I've got my original channel which is a cooking channel. I can throw down. In the kitchen of doing different dishes some people watch and when they watch they would love to I never come and tell anybody it's easy to do this to that yes it might be easy to me Paris to have five six burners on the stove running cooking different dishes and them now burn and them I come out okay 
But you looking on from the outskirt, it is not even easy for you to do. Not even one. And that is me, Debbie Dongayada. I do understand that. But you have some people, I don't know if they understand or they don't care to understand or them just love for chat. And then whilst it comes to your thought, you either talk it or because YouTube, you type it. Type some big long epistle. Come on. It is easy for you to go and because you use the treadmill. You can squat, you can dance, you can jump on and off. I'm also practicing that uh, to get onto the two sides off while it's running and get back on. I'm doing that at my way. I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it my way, Pari. It's all about my way. Claiming my happiness. Doing it your way. And when you do it your way, you will reap. Once you are determined and you practice self-discipline, you will reap. All the benefits that our gym instructor reap. That's me. Over a period of time. Do you. Too many detractors. Too much cook. Too many cooks spoil the brat. I cook like a soup and everybody I put in. But then done. It can't, nobody can drink it. Okay. Do you practice you. Do you. This video is already 16 minutes going into 17. I don't want to. I've got a lot more to say, but I'll probably say it in another video. Supporting each other on the journey of life. This channel is very dear to me. This Jamaican Debbie Deb stream channel is very dear to me. On this channel, this is where I met a lot of my nice little YouTube family. People have watched my videos or I share my life coming up. And let me tell you, if you don't think, you don't hear nothing, you don't have an excuse coming. But as the time goes, as I go, I will grow. I'll share. You haven't even heard the smallest of a fraction of my journey. And on this channel, I've shared a little of my life. I probably will not share and go into depth with everything. I share what I want to share. Not because people is going to do back at lashing. I am over that. You know. I share. Because women of my age are older. Even younger women. Reach out to me. Going through things. You live alone. Yes and I want to start a series. On this channel. Of getting up into age. And living alone. That is a very key thing. I want to I want to send some support and some encouragement for people out there who have all their life worked. You're living now as a senior and you have no choice. You've got to live alone. It's hard for you to make your meals. It's hard for you to feel happy. It is even so hard for you to fall asleep and come in with a few videos with a series of that claiming your happiness learning to be you be you do you thanks for your love thanks for your support thanks for reaching out to me on this year the jamaican david Epstein. stay blessed stay subscribed make sure you're subscribed if you have one little old time a friend you know live alone and you want them just let them come check me out we can talk we can even talk outside of youtube you know me who i am you can open me up give me an instagram and then if we can share a whatsapp number we can talk real girls that have been through the struggles of life we're getting up into age we deserve our happiness some of us like me said me personally i don't know over the years i've given my happiness let's take it and give it give it away and I ask myself the question, am I really happy? Me, I let me left back some for myself. Yeah, what about you? Yes. Me, I start be happy for myself now. I will pick up on this video, either on a live or in another sit down video. This is the channel that I want to reach out to my ladies, men at large too. We don't have a lot of men over here, I realize that. You know, so 
Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Don't let anybody come to steal your joy. Be you. Do you. Love you. Be happy for yourself. Do what you want to do. Do it at your own pace. Do it at your time. It's you. Don't do it on anybody else's time. Hell, no. It doesn't matter what we do right on over here. Never let the evil around you. Never let it take control of you. Steer on top of things. This is an outro that I will do a video. This outro no, does come from my lips only. This outro has come from a phase that I've been going through. And I'm still going through it. But I decided that this 2020, me, Dagalia, I got clear my happiness. Yes, ma'am. Remember to go check out my new channel, the Jamaican Cooking Journey Family. I leave the link for you in the description in case you didn't know. We've got a new channel. It's a family channel. We're going to be doing different over there in a family way. You all know family is my passion. Go check us out. Okay? See you.